Hey everybody, it's Kai Jacobson here, Brothers Day Guitars and Repair. It's Wednesday morning, about 9 o'clock. Brothers Day Guitars and Repair is open. This here is a 2020 Squire uh, Starcaster hollow body. Gentleman brought it in to me, just needs it set up because he wants to put it up for sale on Reverb and eBay. So, we're going to go through the setup, we're going to go do our thing, and then, um, then we'll see where we go from there. And then we'll give it a plug through, um, through the old half stack and see what's going on. As you can see today now, I've improved my videos a little bit. I now have somewhat of a boom, so we can see what I'm doing here as I'm doing it, even if I put my head kind of in the way. Uh, it's way up high. Like, I have to reach up high to turn the camera off and stuff now, so uh, let's get into it. Everybody's favorite part. ball gets stuck. Oh, here comes Worker Cat. Here comes Worker Cat, everybody. Say hi to Chloe. She's gonna make her way and she's gonna lay right here. Yeah, that's what she does. It's Worker Cat. <laughs> Every time without fail. She'll lay here no matter what. I have screws and springs and shit laid everywhere. And she'll just come and lay down. <laughs> <coughs> Which is fine. We all need a companion. So look at this. Here's here's where, where the questions come in. Now I know, like from my school, the bridge... Your, saddles, your saddle bridge is supposed to be set with the screws facing in towards the neck, towards the headstock. These are facing out. Some people put them facing out because they say, oh, it's easy to do the intonation or whatever, which it is, absolutely is, but it's not right. Now, I'm going to leave this one like this because it came to me like this. So, I'm going to leave it like that. I should put it the right way, but I don't want it to whack the intonation. We'll see after I get it put back together if, if, if that's actually an issue. And I now... Also, save all my strings in a box. When the box is full, I'm going to take them to the recycle center. Because they are, in fact, metal. Oh, here's another one. Here's another one. Ow! Something's going on. So it's, Something's happening, so let's go ahead and tie a knot in the string around the tuning peg. Unreal. Unreal. One, two, 
wasn't really going to do this till later, but if I can get it done, if I can get it done, I can get paid. And that's what it's all about for me. Getting paid. doing pretty good so far too guys this is I've only cleaned guitars with this rag I've never wiped no glue none of that and it's a really comfortable guitar to play it's just it's one of them big ones it's one of them big guitars one of them big fat bobs I'm not a fat bob kind of guy. So, you know. So while we have all this off, let's check the neck. And Chloe will let me get my ga my gauge. Thank you, Mama Chloe. <laughs> She's such a good girl. Wow. Okay. Perfect amount of relief. Perfect amount of relief. It's set at about four notches below zero. So that's good. Perfect amount of relief, man. Sorry, Mama. I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm sorry, Chloe. All right, she's gonna leave, she says. Too much work involved. Wow. Usually my paint refresh works pretty good. Usually my paint refresh works pretty good, man. It's making a lot of streaks. And Get my Windex. When in doubt, when in doubt, get your Windex. Hate to say it, but the Windex. I don't know. They say you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to like 
use Windex on your finishes or whatever, but I've never ever had a problem and I've been cleaning my guitar with Windex for fucking years. You know, they got guitar polishes and, and all this, this stuff. I mean, worst case scenario, fortunately for me, if it's really, really bad, I can just take it to my work and have it buffed. Or actually just buff it myself. So everything is tight, right and tight. We used to have a saying, if it ain't tight, it ain't right. All right, let me grab a pack of strings and I'll be right back, folks. I gotta lift my shit way up here. All right, today we're gonna be using, you know me, Ernie Ball 9 gauge. I'm a big fan, so uh, let's go ahead and get these strings on here, and I'll and I'll be back. <sighs> okay, I'll bring you back for a minute. So preemptively, I'm going to like get the gate measure of the string. It's sitting at two. I want to give it like 3.30 seconds. I want to put like 3.30 seconds on the, on the low E. And like... Well, once I get the high E on it, I guess. Yes, anyway, so yeah, I wanted to get the measurement before we get the strings tight. All right. So we got just under 330 seconds on the low side and just under 330 seconds on the high side. So let's give her a tune. Tune her up. <sighs> Tune her up. Give her a stretchy string, stretchy. Right, let me get the strings all stretched out and all tuned up, and then I'll be back. Okay, you guys. So aside from the same, the, aside from the fingerprints and the uh, the everything else, this this guitar is in pretty good shape. It's in really, really good shape, and uh, I think it's ready for sale. I think it's ready for sale.
So it's a squire. But it's a star caster. I didn't know that. So they got Thunder Squire. Then they got, you know, they got. Then I guess they have the Star Caster. I don't know, you can definitely tell the difference. You can definitely tell the difference, that's for sure. So we just give this sucker a quick wipe down the neck and everything. Turn her back on the table. All right. So this is a fairly, fairly easy setup. You guys rock. Have a great day. Have a heart. Enjoy each other. Later.